What's up guys, welcome back to the Techie Setup channel as today we're gonna take a closer look at the new motherboard I have just received. As mentioned in one of my previous videos, I am building a new mini ITX PC which is gonna be my new workstation. I've been using the Intel platform for a while now, in fact for the last 10 years. But it's time for a refresh as it seems AMD has finally catched up and even surpassed them with their new Ryzen 9 CPUs. I'm switching from Intel platform and an i7-8700K to the AMD AM4 platform and one of the new Ryzen CPUs, the 5900X, but we'll talk more about this CPU in another video. And now let's unbox the Gigabyte B550i Aeros Pro AX and see what the box of a new motherboard actually contains. First we have the leaflets and the manual that really show all about the features and installation, so very good for users that are going to install their first motherboard. We also have a 12 volt RGB extension cable, two data cables for 3.5 inch SSDs or old hard drives, a massive Wi-Fi AX antenna, a PWM connector and some M2 screws that are different for the back and front slots, so that's a nice addition. We also get a sticker for your case or wherever you wish to show the Aeros brand. Now, let's take a closer look at the motherboard. Very little, but very powerful as it has the same amps as the big X570 brother. 90 amps stages of power. It packs 8 direct phases digital VRM and it has an advanced thermal design with an extended VRM heatsink that goes all the way to the Gibson at M2 slot. On this side we have the front panel connector and the PWM fan connector, a 4-pin RGB header and a USB 3.2 header. 4 SATA connectors, the front panel connector to turn on your PC and 24 pin power connector to bring life to this little B550i monster. The upper part houses an 8 pin power connector for your CPU and a single PWM connector for your CPU cooler or your case backside cooler. The PCI Express Gen 4 slot for your GPU is marketed as ultra durable and we have two M2 slots for the NVMe SSDs which is great as you can build a very fast experience around that. One of the M2 SSD slots support NVMe Gen 4 speeds and the one on the back only gets Gen 3 but that's not a downside as the speed you get from Gen 3 is enough and it will be a few years before Gen 4 really drops in price anyways. There's also a front panel audio connector, a TPM header and another PWM additional fan connector. I really like the design of the back of the board because if we flip the board over we see it has a full backplate and the second M2 Gen 3 slot. The B550i has the standard AM4 socket and two DDR4 RAM sockets which support up to 64GB of memory but 5300MHz overclocked. The back panel has two HDMI and one display port, six USB 3.2 ports with one of them being a USB-C. There's also a 2.5 gigabit LAN port, the Wi-Fi AX antenna connectors and the usual audio ports. Great solution from Gigabyte is integrating the IO shield on the motherboard and for including a BIOS reset button in case anything goes wrong with overclocking and your PC won't post. The board also has some LEDs on one of its sides and we will see them in action when the ITX build is ready. Now let's take a closer look at the board. The B550 chipset of the new AM4 socket is the sweet spot of motherboards right now as it has support for the new 5000 series CPUs and also enables PCI Express 4 compatibility for NVMEs and graphics, basically future proofing your PC at a lower cost. As they do cost less than the X570, I think they are a better choice right now. This board comes at around $200 and pros that X570 has over it don't justify the price in my opinion. The big pro of this specific B50i from Gigabyte is that it has better VRMs than some entry-level X570 boards out there and of course the same features at a lower price. As a conclusion, as also Gamers Nexus mentioned in their in-depth review, for a high-end Ryzen CPU this is a solid ITX option. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, of course if you have any questions drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.